Hey guys, it's Ryan and Blackmagic finally did it. In this latest release for the A10 Mini and A10 Mini Pro, they gave us what we wanted, audio delay. So let's take a look at it right now. So, they finally gave it to us. They released it this week, I think it was on Wednesday. I woke up to a lot of comments from you guys about how Blackmagic had fixed it. And, of course, like I said in my last A10 Mini video, that video is now completely useless. So, there we go. If you wanna go look at it, you can. There's still other stuff in there that's, you know, at least a little bit of good information. But they also did it at kind of a crazy time for me because as you can see, I am in a different room now. So I was moving from our basement to our upstairs so I can give my, my two older boys rooms downstairs. And now I'm up in a different room and I don't quite have it set up yet. So what we're doing today is we are actually gonna just kind of wing it here. Everything you're watching is being recorded right off the A10 Mini. And I'm gonna switch over there right now. It's coming right off of the USB-C into just a little jump drive. Which you can't really see, but I'll bring it on the camera there. Just this little jump drive. So everything you're watching is coming off of that. And that's, you know, see? And now I'm back here. So that's that's mainly because I don't have a lot of time to edit. We'll wing it a little bit, do a little bit of a test here, kind of best practices for like which, which camera to delay your audio to, things like that. Now, if you want to see how to install the software, Alex Pettit and Aaron Parecki both did a video on how to do that. Uh, you just go to their website, download it. it. Takes a little bit of time to download it because I think it's one and a half gigs worth of information. You'll update your software and you'll update the hardware itself. And then that will make everything work together. So let's jump over to the software and we will take a look at what they have given us. So here in the ATEM software control, uh, you can see my lav mic coming in right here. And as you can see, these gain knobs are a little bit smaller than they used to be because they have added, well, two things. Only one is functional. So we have your delay and your stereo simulation. I'm curious as to see what the stereo simulation will be because that's kind of an interesting one for me. I'm not sure what they're getting at with that. So here's your delay. And as you can see, you can delay up to eight frames. Now, as I was looking at this, I thought, I thought it was pretty cool because I can actually go in here and see it's very fluid. Oh, you, you do like, you know, a frame and a half of delay. Cause that would be, cause that'd be amazing. Once you, if you look at here, once you release, it jumps to the nearest. Frame. So it's spot on frame. And, you know, coming from an audio background, we deal with subframes quite a bit because the audio is very fluid. If you ever try to move audio in a NLE, then you'll notice that you can, you can move it sub, you know, a lot finer than frame by frame. So this gives us the option to not do that, unfortunately, but that's okay because we can get pretty close. Okay, so we have a little bit of a setup here in front of us. It's very, very basic. Let's switch over to that. So we've got the ATEM Mini Pro. We've got the Rode. And look, I'm gonna bring myself up right in the corner there. Hey, how about that? <laughs> so we've got the, uh, yeah, the ATEM Mini Pro, um, a wireless receiver, the Rode Wireless Go. We've got a little splitter here. And the splitter is actually going from uh, it takes one line over here into the A10 Mini Pro, and it takes a line out to our Blackmagic original, original Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera going right there. And I'm gonna throw on my headphones here. And I was actually surprised by this because last time when we did the test with the metronome, uh, we were shooting it with this overhead camera here. And that one, it's an iPhone, so it is mega delayed. I mean. You can tell when my hand moves here, it's it's delayed quite a bit more than the Blackmagic is. So uh, we're going to switch back over to the Blackmagic. Yep, this one right here. And you'll hear something kind of funny when I turn on the audio from the Blackmagic. And here we go. Let's turn it on here. And you'll hear it's this is what's called phasing. So it doesn't sound quite right. and and it's because we have this signal coming in here on the A10 Mini Pro, and then we have another signal that is slightly delayed. And it's funny that it's not as delayed as other people have reported. It's just slightly delayed. I mean, we're looking at um, we're looking at maybe like this much, you know, like 
very, very subframe delay. Subframe delay is what it is. Let's head over to the software here and you'll see on my delay, if I start to delay that, I'll delay by one frame. That's one frame of delay. And so it's getting worse. And two, four, four, there are four, four, whoa, four, four frames, frames of, delay. of delay. I can I barely, barely talk because it's, it's so distracting. distracting. So if I go back to zero, we have this kind of phasing thing, which makes me realize that for some reason, this camera, it's HDMI is super fast for some reason. I don't know, maybe one of you can tell me why that is, but there's, we just get this phasing issue that you're hearing here. So if I turn that off, now we're back to normal and it's, it's not that delayed. It doesn't seem like anyways. I mean, if I turn on, like here's the audio just from the camera. So this is the, the wireless belt pack going through the splitter and then over to our camera. And as you see from this shot, it's the, the regular microphone input isn't on at all. So from here, I should be completely in sync. This is, this is great. As if you've ever looked at some of the reviews of this camera, the audio input on that sucks. It's not that clean. So, I mean, you hear that right there. If I, if I turn that on, you can hear that, that noise floor, that hiss. I don't want that anymore. So I like the clean input of the 10 mini pro now, is this delayed? It might be just slightly, but from what we heard earlier, when I turn this other one on, it's just a little phasey. It's not bad. And I don't have that sub frame of delay. So we're just gonna go with this. I think that actually works just fine. I got lucky in this situation. Now, if I was using another camera, yeah, it might be completely different. We'd have to look into it a little bit further. So let's just address one more thing just really quick. And we'll wrap up this video a lot shorter than my other videos. Uh, and that is, well, so if you're doing a multi-camera setup here, so I've got my overhead camera here, and then I've got a screenshot here of my computer. And this one's funny cause it's, it's very, I'm dropping frames like crazy on that one. But, uh, which, which camera are you going to delay? Uh, if I've got this one, then let's say I haven't had another one over on this side here that was also hitting my face, which one, you know, the delays might be a little different. Just best practice on that is I would delay the one that's going to be your main cameras, your main headshot. So in my case, it'd be this one. I would delay my audio to that camera's input. Like this one, this camera up here is just gonna, it's just gonna be majorly delayed. So you don't, you, if you delay it to that camera up there, this main camera will be off. So whichever one is your main headshot, I would delay to that. Hopefully in your setup, you have similar cameras. Now I'm a little, you know, I don't have a lot of money, so I've got multiple, multiple kinds of cameras. I've got this cheap Canon here too, uh, that is all right. And uh, then I picked up this uh, Black Magic that has been really good. I'm liking it quite a bit, but I'd say that's probably your best, um, your best practice. Let's get these guys off because they're a little warm. That's pretty much it. Uh, Go check out Alex and Aaron's channels because they, they go through it a little bit more in depth. This is just kind of a follow-up to the uh, audio delay video that we had a couple weeks ago. And I'm glad that they fixed it so quick. I'm, I'm sure it's been in progress or in the, in the process for a while. Uh, it just happened to come out a couple weeks after I dropped that video. So cool. Thanks guys. If you like this video, uh, go ahead and comment down below. I, I come through uh, once a day and look at all the comments and try to answer them to the best of my abilities. Sometimes I don't know and I'll just tell you straight up, I don't know. Uh, but I do try to help out as best as I can. If you like this, thumb up us. If you didn't like it, thumb down it. We like the thumb up. Be sure to subscribe, get that bell on, and we'll see you guys in the next video.